guys welcome back so today we are going to fashion file i'm so excited i haven't been since pretty much last year i'll link my last vlog up here i had the day off and i was i wanted to go to fashion file check some things out i am so excited to see some of the things that are like in my cart so if you guys want to come shopping at fashion file with elver and i then please just keep on watching but wait you are not going to say if you're not already subscribed i can't <laughs> Sundays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I feel like you're gonna be here when I do. I feel like luxury, you like handbags, you like fashion, you like fashion, girl. you like shopping vlogs. I feel like this is definitely where you're gonna be, so you should subscribe if you're not already, and you should follow me over on Instagram if you're not already. It's just the K Danger. I post every single day over there. Every day is real. Outfit of the day, something on stories. It's a lot, okay? We post a lot over there, so you should follow me over there if you're not already. And with all that out of the way, let's jump into the vlog. So after my completely inappropriate pee pee break, we went to the cages. I always get so excited seeing these because you always see them like all over social media, especially on Instagram. And I just feel like it's just so cool the way that everything is organized. I love that there was like a theme in Fashion File this day. Last time I went, there was definitely not a theme, but this day, everything was about red. Like you could see a lot of the bags on display were red. And even in the showroom, I feel like there was a lot of red. There was also a lot of pink. So I don't know what the underlying theme is. I know everybody is saying that red is like the color for the season. So is that why? I don't know, but I think it also worked really well that I was completely decked out in red too. So they give you an iPad pretty much as soon as you walk in and basically ask if you want to add five things to the cart and they will bring those five things out. Luckily, I knew that I was gonna come to Fashion File this day, so I had already prepared what five things I wanted to see and they are extremely different from the five things that I saw during my last trip. So I'm so excited to show you guys. I saw this Kelly, I think it was in 25 size, definitely in Cellier and I thought it was really cute. This Capucines, I did not ever see this before. It's definitely from the Yayoi Kusama. I know I said it wrong, okay. From the Kusama collection. But I had never seen this like mirror metallic finish. I think this one is still available and included in a sale. So definitely check out the Fashion File website if you like that one. But obviously I had to just go back to the Kelly OK. You guys know I'm definitely a Kelly girl over a Birkin girl. But to be honest, I'm kind of a neither one girl at the moment. I'm just really interested in colorful, fun bags, usually from Chanel, let's be honest with ourselves. <laughs> I saw this Louis Vuitton paint can that was really hard to say for some reason and elver was literally he was dying this was the funniest thing he had ever seen he did not know that this existed i did of course and i know that it came in a range of colors but i actually do like the purple one i'm really into purple these days you guys know this i unboxed a purple bag recently i will link that in the cards up here but i was really excited to see all these purple bags there was a constant salon there was an ostrich birkin this beautiful oh my god like i'm really i don't know what it is but the color purple is just everything to me. This mini reissue like made me question if getting the vanity that I got was the right choice because it is gorgeous. I loved this striped Birkin. Like I had never seen anything like this. I know that's probably not the official name. If you guys know, let me know in the comments, but I thought it was so cute. And honestly, it's, it's just very different. And there was just a lot of navy bags in this area. There's a Kelly. There's a bigger tote, a Bottega Jody. I think this is in the teen size. I had to show Elver this. I think this is the extra, extra large flat from Chanel. This was in a jersey material. So you'll see I'm like feeling it because I don't really get a chance to feel jersey usually. But I, I, this bag is like so hyped up. I feel like a lot of people are really into that. And then we went over to like the area where the fashion file sign was and there were a bunch of pink bags. This mini Lady Dior, oh my God. This was in Lizard and the color of pink on this was gorgeous and actually matched what I was wearing because there was like some subtle pink details in my skirt. So I was really into it, okay. <laughs> then we had a beautiful pink Capucines. Here there is like this Chanel wavy, I think is what it's called, the wavy hobo bag. 
this like beautiful patent Chanel mini. Oh my God. I had to show Elver this key ball though. Like I was like, I actually told her, I was like, imagine me going to the airport with this like fluorescent half see-through key ball. Are you kidding? We looked at some watches cause Elver definitely likes watches. He doesn't really own any like Rolex or Cartier or anything, but he has like Seiko and stuff like that. So I showed him some watches. I absolutely love, absolutely love the Bulgari serpentine watch i like the double tour i think i like it in silver i don't know that i would personally get it because the price one that's crazy but <laughs> i do think it's really beautiful and we were looking at some tiffany pieces then we moved over to some van cleef pieces and i was showing him the white gold guilloche and then i was showing him the like rose gold carnelian situation with the with the guilloche on half of it you know what i'm talking about <laughs> And then we started looking at some green bags because everything was like definitely really color coordinated. And then finally they brought out what I asked for. You guys know that this bracelet was on my wish list. This is the Van Cleef Pearly bracelet. I think it's called the Pearly Signature bracelet. It just has Van Cleef on our pelvis like in the center. And I have to say, I did not like it. I did not like the bracelet at all. And I feel weird that I didn't. But then I tried on the Cartier Slim Love bracelet. This is the thin version. And I actually loved it, you guys. Actually, really loved it. And I'm shocked because you guys know the amount of shit that I talk about the Cartier Love bracelet. And I just, I don't know what it is. I feel like the proportions of the Van Cleef bracelet were just completely off. It just was way too much on my arm. But this somehow balanced everything perfectly. Now we're looking at this beautiful, like, mirrored Lady Dior. This was, like, a really good price. I'm pretty sure this was, like, $3,000. I don't think it's on the website anymore. I actually don't think that most of the stuff that I showed here is on the website anymore but I tried it on because I thought it was really cool and you guys know I need like a nice black bag this like I said ended up selling anyways but I thought it was really cute now we're looking at the DJOY which is kind of at the forefront of my mind right now I'm kind of obsessed with the DJOY it's, it's really just not it's not healthy whatsoever so I'm looking at this one this is like the diamond quilted one and I believe this is the medium size and this was also going for a pretty good price I think it was like 3000 700 if i'm not mistaken and this bag usually retails for upwards of 5600 so i thought that was pretty good and it is like all matte black i don't know that i like the diamond quilting but i think i do like the djoy and i even like it in the medium size then we were looking at the entire reason that i decided to go to fashion file which is this bag this is the amelia rose bag you guys know i mentioned this recently in my oh, it's my most recent video actually wednesday's upload i'll link that in the cards up here all the bags i would steal from youtubers and of course this was my amelia rose pick because to me this is just the most beautiful bag i had to see this in person and i have to say it definitely lives up to the hype that i created for it in my head i have never been so close to dropping six thousand dollars on a random thursday afternoon in my entire life like i was so close honestly if it didn't sell the same exact day that i saw it like i saw it and a couple hours later i don't think i was even home yet it freaking sold but i have to say like i was so close on this one you guys i'm very happy i didn't only because i'm not i'm not an impulse shopper you guys know i like to i like to think on things but this bag tested me like to no like it to the ends of the earth this bag tested me it's just so beautiful i love how it looks cross body i know a lot of people really don't like the thick strap that comes with the mini cappy scenes well usually but i just like i think it was perfect it hit me perfectly i like a thicker strap so it just works it just worked out then we had to run out because we had to pick up leo from school and i live over an hour away from faster file so we had to we had to rush okay we drove over an hour to get there and now we have to drive over an hour to get back home to pick up leo so i was just showing kind of what was on the exits you know the the things that were just trickling at the end i had to show the kelly cut and the mini kelly like i had to quick outfit of the day while elver finishes using the bathroom this skirt and shirt set is from diva's boutique this is my red mini from chanel and the orans <laughs> so excited they're making a comeback already did you guys think about these pieces there is one piece that i am absolutely in love with like i'm convinced 
I'm going to own it. I didn't leave with anything today, but I mean, I have to think it over. You know, we can't impulse shop, but there's one piece like I'm convinced, like it's it will be in my life. So let me know what you thought about some of the pieces. I feel like this time around, there was not as much Hermes as last time, mostly because I didn't pick any Hermes bags to see because you guys know I'm not, my Hermes journey is over. I'll link that video up here. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to hit a thumbs up if you did like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I post every single day over there and that's all I have to say. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I saw this Louis Vuitton cane, cane pant. Oh my God. <laughs> I saw this Louis Vuitton. I got to go back. That was horrible.